Listen, uh, look, look, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know what my boy you been talking about, but overconfidence will get you knocked out. Just like my boy Beefy showed you in the first fight. At the end of the day, I'm a big fan of you, Bank. That's my favorite fighter. You guys already know. But at the end of the day, man, kind of been look good tonight, man. I'm talking about the jab, the footwork, the fence, the athleticism, the quickness, the slickness. He showed it all against a young, hungry fighter that has it. Been in the ring with top level opponents, but you can look at that fight and you can say that this guy wasn't here to, you know, lay down, get a check. He was there to win. He's long, he's rangy, he's young. You see what I'm saying? He's active. You're going up against a fighter that has been out of the ring over a year and a half and kind of been. Look, man, young boy, get busy. I like him. I want to see him again. But what I want you to understand is the length. You know, the aggressiveness, the front foot dominance that he that kind of Ben was up against. Yeah, he got tapped up. A lot of guys in the comment section was like, yo, CBT, he was getting touched up, man, with uppercuts straight down the pipes. He was holding on in some of the uh, rounds. He was on, on the ropes making rookie mistakes. Listen, he's been out of the ring, but that's no excuse. But look at what he was able to do. You see what I'm saying? The explosiveness, the explosiveness, the uppercuts, the hooks. He was hitting homeboy with everything in his in the kitchen sink. But he a Mexican. He got good chin. He got good uh, stamina, and he held up, man. He, you know, and he's a tough competitor, man. A lot of these guys and the commentators are saying, you know, kind of been, you know, he 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 was getting hit too much, too clean. He should have, you know, fought a different type of fight. For me, he fought the perfect fight, man. And I'm telling you right now, you know, at 154, he's not going to be knocking dudes out 160, 168. It's going to be tough. Guys are not going to drop, you know. But at 147, getting hit with the punches that he was landing, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, not too many dudes can handle that type of power. But, you know, a bigger weight, so it's a lot that you guys got to take into context. When we talk about this fight. But at the end of the day, man, when we talk about Eubank Jr., he obviously wasn't impressed. You see me, he left a tweet and a few different things we're going to talk about here in this video, man. First of all, you know, I think, you know, Eubank is athletic. He's skilled. He got power. He's slick. You know what I mean? He got a lot of tricks as well. That's why I think it's a beautiful fight. But for me, the weight is going to be a problem. The weight going to be a problem for Conor, man. I'm telling you, man. But I can see why this fight is a blockbuster now. Before, I was like, eh, maybe. But nah, man. The weight is going to hurt Conor Ben, man. But the difference, and I want the fight to happen. But what I want, I want you guys to understand is this. Is that um, Conor is not afraid to get in the fire. Conor is not afraid or shy away from taking punches. And that's what we've seen in this fight tonight. Right? He's in the pocket. He, he understands that the guy got more length than him. But he's exchanging. He's pushing the action. He's throwing combinations. And he's being defensively responsible at the same time. Sometimes you get clipped in the process. But this is boxing, people. But I, So I know he's not afraid to get hit. He's not shying away from it. But we also know that your boy... You know, you Ben Jr. have shown that his chin ain't that sturdy. You know what I mean? Not too sturdy. And he can get hit and clip with something from an explosive fighter that got power like my boy Conor Ben. That's why I say this is a great fight. This is why I say, listen, man, there's some, you know, weaknesses in Conor, but there's some weaknesses in Eubank too. That's why I say it evens out. If you ask me, man, let the fight go down. I want to see it, man. But I was highly impressed with Conor Ben, man. He looked great, man. A lot of guys in the comment section said the Mexican didn't have a shot. He had a shot, man. He was in the pocket, man. He was throwing his punches, man. He just wasn't athletic enough to keep your boy stationary. You see me? He didn't have enough time to... Keep kind of on the ropes and throw his combinations because of the skillness, the skill set of your boy Conor, man. But he was in the building, man. That's a great fight. After this thing, I'm going to rewatch it because that, you know, I love boxing. I look at the technical skill set of both fighters when they get in the ring, man. I don't just look at the big shots, the big punches. We got Hitchison fighting right now. Boring as hell. That's why I said I can't. He got skills. We talking Hitchison, right? I guess my boy Cepeda. Cepeda, slow feet, you know, he can't keep up. But your boy Hitchison is not capitalizing on it. 
And I love boxes. I'm a boxer. I love skills and technique and thinking in the ring, but he's just too slow. You got to bring the action. You want to be a star? You want to be like the rest of your young boys? You just call Stevenson's and your, and your Tank Davises and your Ryan's. Listen, dig up your boy Shakur Stevenson. He's defensively minded first, counter punch second, on the front toe. That's his three, that's his trifecta right there. Bing, bing, bing. You dig? But so a defensively minded person like Shakur still knows how to bring the action, right? This guy, he, he puts you to sleep, man. I, I can't deal with Hickinson, man. I'm not watching it. I'm not putting a video out on it. But at the end of the day, give me your thoughts on this thing, man. Do you think that kind of Ben got a shot against Eubank Jr. based on the attributes that I told you guys about? See, we talking technical boxing here, right? We're not just talking about, you know, a guy going to get hurt because he's big and the other guy's small. We're talking technical, like I explained to you, man. I think Ben got a great shot, man. Being that I'm a fan of you, Ben Jr., I'm telling you right now, if the fight go down, I got to think twice about putting money on you, Ben, man. I got to think twice because the explosiveness in the pocket, right? I mean, the guy could shoot uppercuts, hooks on the move. He could shoot combinations on the back foot. You see what I'm saying? His counterpunch ability is on point. You see what I'm saying? His stamina was good tonight against a Mexican that was putting the pressure on him. He wasn't afraid to get in action and get hit, get clipped, got cut, still kept moving. And, and he didn't panic. He was in the motion. He was grooving and booing. He was doing what he do. That's what I'm trying to tell you here. You Ben Jr. got some flaws in some of those departments, right? Get cut, how you gonna react? Get clipped, how you gonna react? Get hurt, is he gonna hold, right? Is he gonna fight on the back foot? He gonna fight long range? What's really good with the kid? I need to know, you see me, you know, with his new training and all that, I, I just gotta, I don't know, man. I just don't know, but it's interesting. I want this fight to happen next. It's a beautiful thing with you rocking with your boy CBT. I've been going for a minute, but you know how it is. I'm on the road. I'm overseas. I'm moving and shaking, doing my thing in Colombia, Dominican Republic, Cuba. We shaking. Got some audio. Got some footage, man. But just give me some time. You know how I do. I ain't going nowhere. Highlight your boy. Subscribe to the channel as always. Peace. Yeah, as you boxing talk. The funny thing about Mike Tyson, man, he'll whoop your ass and kiss you afterwards. I, I don't understand it. I mean, that's great sportsmanship, but good God. If I was the other guy, I'd be like, you know, whoop my ass, then kiss me, get the fuck up out of here. I make you want to fight some more. Shit. You know? Not Nabby Holmes. Nabby Holmes is like, listen, man, uh, fuck you. And if you on HBO, fuck you. And fuck him. And fuck the judges. I mean, the truth. Come back my day. Went to the car and came back on time. You put hands in free, man. <laughs> Just when you thought you it's had to figure new media, new perspective, Cassie Boxing Talk. <laughs>